I'm ashamed of myself. I, I, I killed a hundred Native Americans. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those damn novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. I find it funny that Grandpa um, from Ben 10 is now playing a guy named Ben. Those Daltons were longer once before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Cofferville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right. I did my best, sir. We all did. Or at least it sounds a lot like him. They call me Bounty Hunter. I think you're missing the word the. They, they call me the Bounty Hunter. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Cofferville just to shut her up. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Hey, he got us a hero. <laughs> My spidey sense is tingling. Where is it? My spidey sense was tingling. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Popped up right around. Oh well. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day. Oh so God! I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Because they always are at high noon. for months, now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for something. Okay, I was laughing at the voice acting. There, but that death is pretty funny too. The guy's just like, I'm Superman, jump off the roof. Those boys had a reputation as stone cold killers, so the marshals took every precaution, knowing they wouldn't go easy. This man had a 
had no intention of letting the Dalton slip away. They met an adversary that day who had no fear and offered them no quarter. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait the son of the bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. We went in there alone to confront those criminals. Yep, and the ladder drops down out of nowhere. One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? The <laughs> rifle's mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Ah, the hatch. That th it just left open and a couch right underneath it. Heroic men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett. Is that who died defending the hour. <laughs> Take this, you varmint! Period shot! But you can't hide forever. No, but I can reload my guns and come kill you. You're a gunner. Says the guy with the bullet in his head. I'm gonna kill you dead. Like there's any other way to kill. I always hated that expression. I'm gonna kill you dead. You're just reiterating the obvious, boy. No one likes that. Ooh. Is there a treasure? Yes, there is. Yay. We all like treasures. He's just hugging the door. <laughs> He's just hugging it. His name was Silas Greaves. And when dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Isn't that the guy that's just sitting there drinking all the beer? Just wasn't the way it happened. Yep. So now we get to see it for a third perspective. It was early evening, not high noon. Because everything takes place at high noon, apparently, so we had to get that out of the way. I was late to the party and Coffeeville was already up in arms. The Daltons blew up a safe and were all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. The leader, the lover, and the loser? It sounds like something that would be out of, um, those jokers for months, uh, a Steve for Miller Band song. Reckless. Stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Face me, 
Let's just go like this. Have fun. I was supposed to go. I killed the guys here. Surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit happens. Yep. Spidey sense is going. There's something special nearby. Hello. Another three out of three. The Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to climb in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Like, how was they supposed to avoid all that? Pretty much run the other way, probably. And I can't run any farther back. You dang nabbit varmints. It was him, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Green. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brother. And I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Can we just think about what he just said? I'm gonna beat you like a redheaded stepchild? Jesus, game! That's horrible! I don't think people would have said that. Punched him to death. He was the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Whoa, whoa. And also, no one would have survived back then with their kind of technology if they were shot 23 times. That boy had grit. Alright. 
I'll just go with your story.